getting a hundred cups of coffee starting now. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Some of us are feeling a little sleepy. I'm so sleepy. Let's talk caffeine, right? So caffeine is the number one drug in the world, right? You find it in coffee and tea. So basically the entire planet drinks it for the, for the most part. Uh, let's talk about what caffeine does to your brain. Your brain. This is your brain on drugs. Is going to uh, have, don't mind the blue jay going crazy. Uh, your brain has neuroreceptors, right? They're gonna receive all of these uh, chemicals that your body is producing throughout the whole day and your body produces something called adenosine. Right? Adenosine might sound familiar from ATP back in high school, adenosine triphosphate, right? And mitochondria, powers of the cell, Krebs cycle, um, you know, that whole thing, cellular respiration, right? I'm not gonna get into all that. But anyways, your body is constantly producing adenosine um, and it's gonna build up in your body and signal to your brain, hey, you're tired, you need to rest. Caffeine blocks the neuroreceptors and says, uh, no, we're gonna uh, stay up a little bit longer. We're not gonna be tired right now. And about five hours is the half-life of caffeine in your body. So after about five hours, only half the amount of caffeine is still left. That's why uh, a 4 p.m. coffee might be way too late for some of you because at you know, 9 p.m. you're gonna still have half the caffeine left. Um, but because we're blocking those uh, adenosine molecules from bonding to our neuroreceptors, we're gonna let things through like dopamine, glutamate, norepinephrine, and you're gonna feel a little bit more energetic. Right, you might get a slightly increased heart rate, you might get a, uh, a slight spike in blood pressure, I'd say spikes dramatic. Um, yeah, so caffeine, it, uh, it works really well, and it is uh, definitely something that you should take in moderation, but, you know, not a doctor, just my uh, life advice. And yeah, let me know how much you